In this quick tip, I'm going to show you 9 things you should do to the default level before beginning working with it. As you know, if you go to File, New Level, and choose Default, this will give you a good starting point to begin working in. But there's a few things that are missing within this default level to make it perfect. So I'm going to show you what I usually do and what I add into this default level before I work with it. First, I duplicate the ground plane a few times to make it bigger. Of course, you can use a BSP brush or use a landscape. But for quick testing and prototyping, I usually just duplicate the ground plane. Then I insert a human reference scale to judge architecture proportion and world dimension. This is UE4 Mannequin Mobile, and I already have it inside my vault section. So I just simply add it to the project that I'm working in. And if you don't have this mannequin, it's free to download and you can find it in the marketplace. I have a quick tip on how to add this into any project and I will include it in the description box and within the blog post. Then once I have added the mannequin mobile into the project, I insert the mannequin mesh into the level and I use this for judging scale and building everything to proper proportion. Then I save the level as the new default level. So I can always have it and reopen it to work on any new level instead of going up to to create the default level that UE4 gives you. Next I select the skylight and change it to stationary. In the default level it's set to static and you would need to build lights to see the skylight affect your environment. So by changing it to stationary you don't need to rebuild your lighting to see the skylight affect the indirect lit areas, the areas in the shadows. Then I adjust the directional light to point and light the scene better and this is more of an aesthetic thing, simply changing the direction of the angle of the sun. Then I go to volumes and insert a post-process volume. Inside the details panel I need to disable the outer exposure. This is when your eyes begin to adapt from light to dark and from dark to light and you see this lighting change happen inside the editor inside the environment and it's very distracting when you're working at first so I disable auto exposure and I set minimum and maximum brightness both to 1 and then I need to set infinite extent unbound so this volume this post process volume becomes universal and you don't have to be inside this volume for it to take effect and you can just simply search for unbound to find that property and enable it then back on the volumes, I insert light mass importance volume. This is very important to use with static lighting and this volume will define the important areas of your environment where you want UE4 to focus its lighting calculations in. So for now, I simply insert this volume and resize it to surround the entire ground plane and give sufficient height. And this is good enough to start with. And then I select the sphere reflection capture and move it to the center of the world so it surrounds the entire ground plane. Again, this is a good starting point, but then eventually certain parts of the environment will have their own specific reflection captures around certain locations. Then I save everything. And now I have a default level that's more usable and has all the actors and all the volumes I need to get started. So the default level by itself doesn't provide me with everything I need and these are the steps that I go through so I can begin working in it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please give it a like, subscribe so you don't miss any more videos, and visit worldofleveldesign.com for more tutorials and exclusive content. And I'll see you in the next video.